Good morning, it's Thursday, July 3rd. And we're just doing a bunch of little accessories. And when I say we, me and Jacob. All right, so we're two weeks, so we're like 10 days off the last contest. Um, yesterday I came in and did some um, mobility work, a little stretching. Today I'm actually adding the bench press. I'm working on, I've got some hip flexor issues, internal hip rotations, and uh, so I'm working on that. Um, maybe Jake, can you run the camera? All right. He's gonna run the camera. Try not to get your fingers in there. Okay. Let me show you what the, okay. So we're talking about hip rotation here, okay? It's a little bit funky for a guy who's not a kinese guy. We talk internal and external rotation. So here's an example of a rotation. When you want to do an internal hip rotation, we talk about this for the squat. When the knee's out and the hip's in, it's an internal hip rotation. My issue is an external hip rotation. So with your, that means your knee, your hip stays in and your leg goes out. That's where, Jake, look at me. That's where we have pain issues. That's where I have pain in the hip flexor. Okay? So one of the stretches I'm trying by Kelly Sturet is using the band for confusion. Stay right there, buddy. Okay, so I'm still working on this stretch. So here's what it is. You're pulling that laterally. Planting your knee and pulling your leg up one more. Okay, so I'm using the kettlebell. I'm using the kettlebell to keep my feet, the leg out. Look, look down in here, buddy. So I'm pulling with the band, locking my knee down, and letting the hip ex internally rotate. So when it's internally rotating, the foot's outside the hip. So it's externally rotating the foot's inside the hip. Okay? And what we're doing here is trying to get a good stretch. The band is causing confusion. And we're getting a stretch into that hip area. Trying to get the ability. So let me show you. Ah. Ah. That's for the retack. That shot right by me. So your hip. You should be able to push your hip, your feet out from this position without too much craziness. It doesn't go way back, but most people have pretty good. Now, at the beginning of this workout, I couldn't move my foot more than this far apart, this far out. Now I'm getting a little more with that stretch. 10 years old. We still going? So Jacob's 10 years old. And what we're doing with Jacob today, it's kind of a hodgepodge day. Jake only trains one day a week. Now, most of the time I'm focusing on, for a 10 year old, this phase is the growth phase, 10 through, 10 through 13. I don't have Jacob doing weighted squats or weighted deadlifts yet, to a much degree. I'm trying to keep him as agile build strength, build technique, but also be careful not to overload him at this point. While Jacob, at this point, hasn't really hit a growth spurt yet at all. So, uh, gotta be very careful to not overload him during this phase, because he's gonna go from pretty decent technique to losing it just because he's growing. All right, so all we're doing, we're doing a load here with kettlebells. Three. Two, one, keep the back straight, get the feet up, good. Same thing, just basic kettlebell, pick it up, and then he's gonna unload it. Keeping technique, back straight. So I would suggest, if you guys got 10 year olds, make it fun, uh, you're gonna lose them. Uh, we do ball, wall balls, we do, we try a little bit of burpees, we do jump rope, 
we do box jumps uh, but we're not doing 100 reps we're not doing anything crazy we're working mostly on technique keeping it light that's probably the heaviest he's he's he, that's a 53 pound kettlebell it's put up on the box a few times um, so it's kind of what we're doing and then over here is what I'm doing is narrow grip bench with a light set of chains so the same setup with the uh, with the collar in there and I'm probably only working up to about 275 ish doing sets of fives five sets of five narrow grip chain bench so that's basically what I'm doing today T tomorrow I'm gonna come in and work I'm crushing my quad I'm I think in the hip flexor might be quad mobility related so I'm working on that the next couple weeks so when August rolls around my body's ready to go uh, but tomorrow we're gonna, we're gonna do some more mobility more crushing and um, maybe do some uh, box squats so I'll see you tomorrow guys you guys have a great 4th of July if I don't post another video you guys take care I'm gonna say bye Jake bye bye see ya